After nine long months of searching, I have finally found the bloody ace. Get this trash out of here. Let's try it again. After six long months of searching, I have finally found the bloody A70. This mouse was so hard to get. This is the mouse that every drag clicker and his mother want to find, but can't. In this video, I'm gonna unbox this mouse, see what CPS I can get on it, hopefully 60 or more, and I'm gonna show you how you can get one for yourself too. Let's get right into the unboxing now. So. This box is just like any other bloody product box. It got a display case right here, where you can clearly see the mouse. And what's really nice is this model came with Ultra Core 3 and 4 already activated, so we do not have to pay for that software. This is the weird bloody hacking software that comes with it. It's kind of weird. Okay, here's the back, back or whatever. Let me just open this box. Right here, we got the mouse in the back. We got some stickers. As you can see, it's a Light Strike Gaming Mouse. Bloody A70 activated. So, if I can get this thing out properly, it should be good. Here is the mouse. But before we start testing, I need to give you a big disclaimer and warning. If you are going to purchase one of these mice, do not buy it from any other seller than the bloody website. Do not buy it from eBay. Absolutely not. eBay sellers will sell you the counterpart to the mice, known as the bloody A7. This is not the same as the bloody A70. They're completely different mice. Right here, I will show you the two mice. They look alike, right? Wrong, they're completely different. If you look on the left, this is the A70. If you look on the right, this is the A7. The A7 right here has mechanical switches, meaning that the switches are more firm and they cannot drag click as well. This mouse, however, the A70, has optical switches. They're called light strike switches. These switches can register much higher CPS and the entire mouse feels completely different when you drag click with it. This mouse complete, completely feels way different. So, beware of this. Some eBay sellers will even write that the A7 is a newer and better version than the A70, which is a complete lie. Also, they completely overcharge you. The way I would recommend to get this mouse, the A70, would be by going to the Instagram of bloody.com. So go to the Instagram page and sign up for their waitlist. Within their waitlist, you just have to wait about a month or so until they restock and they will send you out a private link to their website where you can buy the mouse for its stock price. So you're not overpaying at all. And it will come really quick. That's what I did with this mouse. Do not get scammed, please. Because I got scammed right here. I bought the Russian version of this mouse. My grandmother, who lives in Russia, bought this mouse for me and had it shipped to me. I was quite disappointed. On this A7, you can only get 30 CPS. This one, you can easily get 60 without tape. With tape, you can get up to 100. If you have ever seen Telly, he can get 100 CPS on this. This mouse is completely different. This mouse will lock up when you try to drag click it. This mouse does not lock up at all. It's really smooth and you do not have to press down as hard. Meaning this mouse, the A70, can butterfly click way better. So, let me show you. Right here, we have the bloody A70, the good mouse. So, let's try to do some lawn drags. Pretty decent. 47 CPS. Let's try again. Let's try to go for 50. There you go. Nearly 50 CPS. Not even trying. Now, let's compare it to the A7. The one that you shouldn't buy. The scammy one. The A7 right here cannot drag click as well. So watch. If 
I go here and I try to drag click watch it will lock up it's locking up it just locks up it doesn't it sounds completely different I'll show you a comparison later watch there you go it's much harder to press it locks up way way easy it will it the switches are completely different they don't press as easy see you have to press way harder so you have to go like see it gets locked up again try one more time see I'm trying my best my fingers just slipping this mouse however the a70 absolutely does not need grip tape at all you don't even need electrical tape you can get easily 50 CPS see I'm already messing up because I'm used to pressing hard this one you don't have to press hard there you go here's an easy 34 here's a here's a 40 this mouse is way better always get this one I will now show you a sound test of the mice for sound test one we're going to do the bloody a70 first the good mouse Now, we're going to do the worst version, the bloody A7. So, this is how the bloody A7 look, sounds. Compared to this one, the bloody A7 sounds completely different, and the bloody A70 is way more satisfying to click. So now, let's do a butterfly click test. This is what a butterfly click sounds like. See how it sounds kind of um, soggy? The switches us are way more soggy on this one. So now, let's do the bloody A70. Way better sounding. The main takeaway of this video is that bloody A70 mice are some of, if not the best mice for drag clicking available on this planet right now. And also, to not get scammed by sneaky eBay sellers who upsell a worse mouse product pretending that it is better than a newer version. Always buy the A70. And always read this description of any eBay selling to make sure that you're getting the right thing. Never buy the A7 because they're upselling it at double the price, making a profit, and making you feel less satisfied in the end. I would rather you just wait an extra month and get it from the official bloody store. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great day and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make an extensive drag clicking tutorial that anyone can follow and achieve.